Mina-san! Konnichiwa! What's up, everybody? Have y'all ever heard of something called memes? No? I'm shocked. I'm appalled and shocked and disappointed. Go to your fucking room. It's meme time! It's meme time! Gather all your friends! It's meme time! It's meme time! It's meme time! The only cure for sadness. Memes are something that other people make, and then everybody else laughs about them. They're an incredible resource for pop culture here on the internet. My Christian internet! But don't worry, I spell it out for you, look! M! That's an M! My extremely masculine energy! Can we just rename the internet to Meme Archive? From now on. Yes, please, and thank you. Sean is megle neglecting his middle name. Strong-willed warrior. Oh, William! <laughs> so William actually means strong-willed warrior. So, <laughs> the name is of old German origin, but became popular. I don't fucking give a shit. So William means strong-willed warrior. So I'm the gracious gift of God. The strong-willed warrior, son of Viking! You all doubted my name. Everyone was like, John, your name doesn't actually mean son of Viking. Literally, nobody said that. But in here, I could feel it. I could see all your beady little eyes behind the camera judging me as I went about my day. No, my name means gracious- Sean William McLaughlin means gracious gift from God, son of Viking, strong willed warrior. Not in that order. Please don't tell me I'm the only one who accidentally does this. Pronouncing Sean as Sean correctly, pronouncing it as Cian. Because I am an idiot. First of all, you should feel absolutely ashamed for pronouncing it that way. But you are ab definitely not the only person in the world who does. Because every time I get a delivery of food, or every time I get into an Uber or something, I, I go up to the door, I see their name is like, uh, Yohasafet or something. And I make a very strong effort to say their name properly. Even the most confusing, sometimes it's just Roger or Stephanie or something. Those ones I get. I, I've seen those names before. But the hard ones, sometimes I'm like, okay, pronounce it properly. And I get in and I say the name and they're like, yes, definitely. And then they're like, are you seen? I'm like, you've been seeing this shit? Don't get me wrong. I get it. I know that it's a weird looking spelling for the name. Even though it's the best spelling of the name and all other spellings of the name don't exist. S-H-A-U-N and S-H-A-W-N. Fuck out of here, okay? Your parents didn't love you. But you see, the problem is, is that everyone's writing it S-E-A-N, and I'm too lazy to put the fada over it, okay? It's an Irish name, and it's spelled like this. S-E-A fada N. That's what the thing over the A is. That's what turns it into Sean. It extends the vowel. Everyone keeps sending me messages saying S-E-A-N in Irish me is, means old. That's Shan. You're not even spelling my name properly, okay? And you call yourself real fans. You call yourself stans of the Jacksepticeye Variety Channel, and you can't even spell my name properly? How fucking dare you? So many people who are like, Jack is my favorite YouTuber, and other people come in and be like, Um, excuse me, his name is Sean. And I'm like, not spelled like that, it's not. Quite a road trip there. <laughs> Wait, these- there's no way these exist in England. Alright, Brighton is down here somewhere, so I'm close to Ass Hill, right next to Shitterton. And then you drive up on into Horswood, Bitchfield, Cock Alley, Dick Place, Cock Bridge, until you get a ferry, and you end up in the great old island of Twat. See, no one else will do this, no one else will show this in a video, because it'll get their video demonetized. But here on the Jacksepticeye Variety Channel, we've been swearing for years. And no one dares demonetize this channel at this point. If you demonetize an Irishman for swearing, then it's basically racism at that point. And YouTube don't want to promote racism, so... Don't demonetize me for reading out all these names, please. <laughs> Hate when that happens, when you accidentally feed your family. This is the great memes that are coming out of the Papers, Please series. So if you haven't been watching it, please go watch it. I need more views and likes, please. Please buy my shirts. Ah! <laughs> there was a point in the video where I said that I needed to feed my family and I hadn't been doing that for a couple of nights in the game. You kind of like skip over nights and then I had- Why am I explaining this? It's in the episodes. Basically, I didn't feed my family and then I complained when I had to. <laughs> yeah. 
Billy Eyelash, otherwise known as William Eyebrows, um, posted a picture on Instagram and said, how did I get here? Granted, it was an amazing picture. It was her standing out in the middle of the stage from the back and there was just thousands of people around. Super cool. And Billie Eilish is actually really cool and I like her music a lot. But just seeing how did I get here, I had to write it. I had to write, do you have 90 minutes on it? It just had to be done. I, who am I if I don't commit to the memes that I've overused here on the Jack Septic Variety channel? Also, you liked my comment. Thank you very much. That's very, very sweet of you, Irene. I appreciate it. Unlike most pictures from social media that you see on the internet, fake tweets, fake Instagram comments, I commit. I am legit. I'm the realest YouTuber of all. Us. I need content for today. New jokes, same great Coke taste with zero sugar. <laughs> okay, you can't just be calling me out like that, all right? That's... That's insensitive. That's straight up murder, okay? I have a family. Do we come up with new jokes? Or do we just keep saying the same jokes over and over again? I don't know. Which should we do? Do you have 90 minutes and a Coke sponsorship? No, I don't. <laughs> also, why this picture? Why are you gonna do me like that, okay? Don't I deserve more? Don't I deserve better than this? This is from that weird game, though. It's a game called Episodes. You have you might have seen these around anyway. If you've been on Tumblr, you've definitely seen these. These are uh, a thing that's always getting promoted in ads on Tumblr. And it always has these weird things. Clearly this one is uh, falsified. This would be great if it was in the game. But there's also some really weird real ones in there. Like this one. I tweeted this out recently. This literally popped up on my Tumblr as I was going through it. A lady doing yoga and it says, She's so close. Ask her out. Do. Not. Fart. That applies to many situations in life. At the restaurant, ordering my food. Hmm, do I want the salad? Do. Not. Fart. At the cinema, do I want to go see Avengers or do I want to go see John Wick 3? Ah, uh, do. Not. Fart. There's also this one, which I think is fake, but I fucking love it. I think the I gotta pee. This is the, the original image. Um, and I think it says I gotta pee, but I love that they changed the answers to pee in her mouth. Or divorce. The duality of man. When you gotta pee, you know, and someone's just lying around with an open mouth, do you do it in their mouth or you do, do you divorce them? Also, these people are not even in the same scene. She's in the bathroom, asleep on the toilet, for some reason, and he's gotta pee. So instead of just being like, hey, sweetums, uh, can you get up and move? I need to tinkle. No, it's pee in her mouth or divorce. But do not fart! <laughs> they always provide the best content. Sean and Felix having the most epic collabs ever and me. <laughs> I'm glad that the meme format took off. You know, it's not that hard to create memes. All you have to do is point at something like... The yeah, camera just want to focus on me. <laughs> 144p, Felix, Jacksepticeye, 1080p, HD, 4K, ray tracing with shaders. <laughs> yeah, this is, um, this is normal, and this is when you turn RTX ray tracing on. <laughs> it's not the quality that's the problem, it's Felix himself. Felix in real life is actually 144p. It's really weird when you see him, he's just a blur. Have you ever seen that episode of Black Mirror where you can block people out and they're just a blur in your life? That's what Felix is all the time. Oh god, that's a weird one. Oh, these ones are freaky. I don't like that. Also, I like that you cut off Felix's head. Um, oh, even, it's weird enough on its own, but all of the, the foam around my walls is making it even weirder. <laughs> Me and do you have 90 minutes? Do you? Do you have 90 minutes to go over the Jacksepticeye How Do We Get Here live show comedy world tour that has been acclaimed around the world by thousands and thousands of people with over 50 shows under our belt? I don't know. Probably not because the show is over now and we're not touring again. So no one has 90 minutes anymore. But <laughs> God, so many memes came out of this video. The problem is not the camera. It is PewDiePie. Just look at the quality of Jacksepticeye. I told you. Felix himself is not in HD. Felix is actually blurry in real life. So every time you look at it, it's not him actually being in focus. Every time you think you see him in focus, it's actually just a trick of the light. <laughs> when you realize Felix is the problem and not the quality of the video. I've been saying playing games or homework. 
I don't have to worry about that anymore. I cannot relate at all. I haven't done homework in... When was the last time I did homework? Probably like... Eight years? Did I have homework back then? Pfft. All of you 12 year olds out there doing homework in school. Ha! Go and get a real job like YouTubing. Don't. Stay, stay in school. Learn your stuff, okay? Pewds quality versus Jack's quality. <laughs> we actually did it in the video. That wasn't even the meme. That the the entire image is actually in focus. Don't this is a trick of the light, okay? Look closely. This entire image that you're seeing right now is in focus. I am the only thing in the picture in focus. Felix distorts everything around him to be out of focus. Keanu Reeves memes redditors. <laughs> It's so true. Keanu Reeves is on such an upswing right now. Not- not only because- okay, camera, calm down, I'm not fucking PewDiePie. Not only because Keanu Reeves is awesome, and he's always been awesome, and I've been watching him since I was a child, and have loved him ever since I saw him in Point Break. But now he's everywhere. Keanu Reeves is in everything this year. Can we rename 2019 to Keanu Ye- Keanu Reeves rear? Keanu Reeves year. It'll just go from 2016, 2017, 2018, Keanu Reeves year, 2020. Let's just rename 2019 right now. It's the year of Keanu. Because he's in everything. He was in- he was doing cool stuff already. Everyone just liked him. Then he started doing John Wick stuff. And then John Wick 3 came out this year. Now he's gonna be in Toy Story 4. And then- now he showed up at E3 and Cyberpunk and now he's a gamer like the rest of us. He's oppressed like the rest of us gamers. And... Then he was in this Netflix thing called like always maybe somebody something always be my maybe see there he is Keanu Reeves reacts to 2019's obsession with Keanu Reeves What it's been really nice and special for me just how well the John Wick film was received and then also recently with always be my maybe and then be connected with CD Projekt Red I've just had the chance to be working with really cool people and be a part of really cool projects and to be here with Toy Story 4 is a lot of fun It's nice when it's nice. Ah, oh, Keanu! Oh, Keanu, he's the best of us. He's so precious. I love Keanu Reeves so much He's so- I'm, I didn't get to meet him! <laughs> I love you, Keanu Reeves, and I love you too, random citizen! God, that is exactly what happened. You're breathtaking! You're breathtaking! You're all breathtaking! Thank you, Keanu Reeves. Thank you for telling me that I'm breathtaking and mean something. Fun story, as part of my, like, interviewing people as movies come out for press junkets, I almost got to interview Keanu Reeves. He- he was scheduled and he was coming to England and everything to do the- the press tour for John Wick 3 And they said, yeah, we put your name in and it looked really good Right until the week that it didn't and then I couldn't get to do it, but I really wanted to meet Keanu Reeves It would have been so cool. I would have told him he was breathtaking It would have changed his life and he would have changed mine. The best one Is when he was on- yeah, he was on Stephen Colbert and he was asked the hard-hitting question of what happens when we die. So what are wow. you gonna do? What happens to you if, if you don't do this? Can you well, tell it's me? the end of the universe. It's the end of time and oh, wow. space continuum. So it's you're the best. It's all over. You're facing your own He's the best. The I love Keanu existence. Reeves so yeah. much. Wow. <laughs> He's adorable. What do you think happens when we die, Keanu Reeves? <laughs> Hard question. I know that the ones who love us will miss us. How? How does he do it? That's not even like a bullshit answer. That's not even like, hmm, what did my agent tell me to say? Keanu Reeves is an agent for positivity. An agent for good. I strive to be more like the Reeves man in real life on a day-to-day -day basis. What happens when we die? The ones who love us will miss us. It's not shrouded in politics. It's not shrouded in religion. It's not shrouded in some weird spirituality or anything. It's actual, logical, Factual facts. God bless you, Keanu Reeves. To the year of Keanu! There it is. He's getting the whole board for himself. Keanu Reeves! Keanu Reeves! Keanu Reeves! The best man that has ever existed. And has always existed because Keanu Reeves is immortal. You know what? If I could have Keanu Reeves coupled with Ryan Reynolds anywhere in my life... You know what? Keanu Reeves, Ryan Reynolds, 
Jake Gyllenhaal, Tom Holland, just put them all in a room together with me and we would have the best time of my life. It's like, Ryan Reynolds, I love you man, right up there at the top, Big Papa, Keanu Reeves, Jake Gyllenhaal, Tom Holland, so many good wonderful men out there doing the Lord's work. Alright, well that's gonna do it for this episode of Meme Time! I hope you had a good time, I hope you had a meme time, and I hope you weren't sad. But the number one rule of all of this is DO NOT FART! Also, Keanu Reeves is the best person on planet Earth. Bye! <laughs>